the pure magic of what is born, how we are born into this world before things go all right. Are you happy to just move with me and let something very beautiful and very important come back into the forefront of our experience? What is our primal spirituality? So right now in this moment, let our hearts open so I can explore with you what it's like to be at home in the universe right here, right now. Where does an infant get their sense of belonging, safety, trust? Do you embrace the possibility that innocence is full of power? I would suggest it's the power of our innocence that allows us to awaken once again, perhaps to a a memory or at least a deep desire to slough off the oppressive effects of the abrasive culture of our world, which is so steeped in survival, adversarial battles, um, projections of um, destructive kinds onto one another, that our human family is, 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 is really just, it's just like a punching punching ball. We've just been hit every which way. And yet there remains, untainted, still available, still calling to our hearts and minds, a restoration and knowing that our first spirituality never went anywhere. So just for a moment, think of the qualities that primal spirituality, our first spirituality might, might have. What are those qualities? I was thinking about that earlier. And you know, when you think about an infant, and if you just touch the heart of an infant, or just in any way that you touch that beautiful heartstring, that angelic heartstring of a little one, you get joyful radiance, yeah? You get the shining of this little one immediately. The light's on. There's joy. There's trust. There's, there's the freedom to be hungry and to cry and call to be fed, knowing that that call will be heard and answered. The need to, to be nourished is satisfied because there is this beautiful, intimate bonding that a child, an infant, has with his or her mother. The mother who is the... Um, continuum of universal provision of love and care and assurance that all is well. So our primal spirituality, our relationship with life as life truly is, is no different here than it is in the sense of the universe from which we were born. We came from somewhere. So I was thinking more about what it is that our spirit, primal spirituality gave us. Curiosity about the world. Hey, don't you find that in the little, little kids? They're so curious. They want to touch everything, feel everything, run this way and that, shout for joy, explore shells, beaches, sand, any and everything. And then we grow a little bit older and our primal spirituality gifts us with an incredible imagination. Did you have flying dreams when you were a kid? I did. Did you inherit superpowers? Did you feel the touch of immortality as a teenager? The sense of being a potential hero or a princess destined to be living in a royal palace? So if we're going to embrace our primal, our first spirituality, the first thing is we've got to acknowledge that we love it and desire it and are willing to let the power of our pure-hearted innocence reclaim it. And then we can begin to talk about embracing it. Eh? And as we embrace the reality of who we are beyond the victim state, we begin to be the gift of that primal spirituality to all the people in our lives.